everybody, John Gase. I just want to share some, some of the things that we're doing for mobility and stretching, keeping our neck loose. And it's particularly like when we're getting into jujitsu. And I'm going to do three separate videos. There's one for neck. Then we'll talk about shoulders, uh, shoulders and chest, and then also hips and legs, uh, knees and ankles. So on, on the third one. So on the neck, I can either put, I want to put my hands here or I'll put um, behind my back. So here when I'm doing them or behind my back like this. And sometimes if I have a particular, like my left trap is tight, I'll particularly maybe put my right hand here and then my left hand I tuck behind my back. Um, and then I could change that range of motion if I want to go higher, if I want to get a better stretch here. So I leave that kind of like those three different positions you can do when you're doing these. But for the first thing is this is all about stretching. So everything is about creating a stretch, not just movement itself. I want to stretch with it, so I want to go slower. So let's start just for this. I'm going to go ahead and put the hands here. I want to go ahead and I'm going to go turn side to side. I want my chin to go over my shoulder, towards my shoulder and further back. Uh, and it, maybe it, it's my fourth one I do is further stretch than the first one, if that makes sense. So uh, just right here, I'm going to turn to the side and stretch it. And I'm just going to go ahead and do three reps. Obviously, you want to do probably six to eight. Uh, that's what I do usually when I'm warming it up, right? And again, if I feel like something's tight there, I might just do the one side more. Um, so side to side that we just did, right? Then I'm going to do up and down. When I'm going up, I imagine my chin stretching towards the ceiling. Down as I'm stretching it towards the sternum. And I want the neck muscles stretching. The next one is I want to try to, this is a little bit tricky. Uh, we're not going to do like a Jackson 5 or Janet Jackson movement here. But my hands are going to go here. And I want to keep my shoulders parallel to the mat. I don't want them dipping right now. And I want to imagine my ear stretching towards that shoulder. So try to keep your eyes and your shoulders, right? So stretch that ear past the shoulder. And now I'm going to do the side to, uh, with this moment. I want to imagine one ear going up, the other dropping down. Now, I don't want to crunch. I want to turn it, and I want to imagine the top ear stretching up. This stretch kind of has more of a trap. You're gonna feel it in the trap muscle, good stretch there. And this particular one, I do like to do the split hand position. So when I'm working, and I may just work like this one side first. And then I would switch it to work the other side. And I just wanna imagine my ear going up. So when I'm here, I'm top ear is stretching straight up. I wanna stretch all this through here, okay? Um, and then I'm going to do, I want to look up, over, and then just straight to the side. These I like to do three on each side. It's, you can do them. Okay, you could, you could just go both sides. But I like to focus on... And then the next one is I'm going to start here, and then I'm going to go down and circle to the center. So I'm almost like stretch one. Then I'm going to tuck my chin and then bring it to the center. This is one of my favorite ones for me because this always loosens up where I particularly am tight. And everybody's a little bit different. Okay, and so those are kind of the neck neck ones and hopefully that kind of loosens up these work great i do these all together i actually do from head to toe but i'm kind of on the videos i'm just going to focus on what i'm doing there with my neck first and in the next video i'll talk about shoulders and my back